Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, chemistry of Europa, which covers uh, some of uh, astrobiology and astrochemistry. So decades ago, uh, science fiction offered a hypothetical scenario of alien life somewhere along the universe. Science fiction explored uh, space travel, planets, stars, galaxies, everything far away from, from Earth, right? But what if uh, alien life was thriving in an ocean beneath the icy surface of Jupiter's moon, Europa? Well, this idea is not so crazy. Um, actually, as astronomer Carl Sagan once said, we are all star stuff, and uh, all the chemical elements in our bodies come from the stars uh, that burst and seeded the galaxy, right? So if we use Earth as a uh, analog, as middle ground, of uh, how life uh, develops, right? we have three main requirements, which are water, the right chemical elements, and energy, an energy source. So um, astrobiologists believe Europa has abundant water and the right chemical elements. However, it uh, lacks uh, hydrothermal, uh, volcanic hydrothermal activity. So uh, it's uh, kind of, uh, a different uh, method of uh, producing energy or uh, getting uh, or life getting energy from other uh, sources that don't require uh, volcanic uh, hydrothermal activity. And also, uh, ha volcanic hydrothermal activity on Earth uh, produces uh, hydrogen and oxygen, right? So, uh, scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Uh, compared Europa's potential for producing hydrogen and oxygen uh, with that of Earth through processes that don't involve uh, volcanism. So, uh, first of all, the water on uh, Europa, right? So it was uh, the evidence, the best evidence there is that uh, Europa has an ocean was guarded by NASA's Galileo spacecraft. Um, basically, the uh, spacecraft made uh, some flybys uh, around Europa, and of, one of the instruments got a magnetic field, right? Uh, detected one of uh, like a magnetic field. So uh, the only thing that could cause this uh, magnetic signature was a uh, global ocean, right? Which is located in Europa, right? So um, basically, uh, water is one of the uh, is at the top of the list of ingredients for life uh, because it dissolves nutrients for organisms to eat, uh, transports important chemicals within living cells and allows those cells to uh, get rid of waste. Uh, scientists also think there's a rocky seafloor at the bottom of the ocean. And if that's true, the interaction between the ocean and the rocks could possibly supply chemical nutrients for living organisms. Uh, next up is the uh, chemistry. Uh, the uh, right chemical uh, elements and substances. So for Europa to be habitable, it, it would need to have uh, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur, uh, which are very common elements. And scientists think they were already present in uh, Europa as it was forming. And later on, uh, with asteroids and comets uh, that impacted the uh, moon's surface, it would have uh, deposited even more organic and carbon containing materials. Um, and also those elements could be found on its surface and also in the ocean below the surface. So um, if there's water and also the right chemical elements, as you can see in Europa, well, then the only thing that remains is an energy source. And we already said that uh, Europa doesn't have uh, volcanic activity, so they're lacking in that uh, department, right? Yeah. So the moon is lacking in that department. So um, basically, life forms need energy to survive. Uh, and how would, you know, a nice uh, moon so far from this one would get the energy to sustain life? Well, um, basically, unlike Earth, the, uh, or most of the life on Earth, unlike Earth, uh, Europa, uh, Europa's life may not be uh, powered by photosynthesis. It actually may be powered by chemical reactions. So 
how it works, the chemical reactions, is that uh, Europa's surface is blasted ra uh, with radiation from uh, Jupiter. And um, it is a bad thing for the surface, right? No thing could thrive on that surface because of the uh, radiation. But the uh, ocean below the surface uh, could uh, uh, benefit from it and feel life. Uh, how it works is that uh, the radiation from Jupiter splits apart um, water molecules, uh, which are made of oxygen and hydrogen, uh, and are, they are deposited in the uh, in Europa's atmosphere, right? So um, after that, the hydrogen floats away, but the oxygen uh, stays behind, it remains. And since oxygen is a very reactive element, it could potentially be used in chemical reactions that release energy, um, which life forms could uh, benefit from and exploit. The only thing is that, that oxygen uh, from the those reactions need to make its way uh, uh, through the surface up uh, to the bottom of the ocean, right? So um, if that happens, uh, the oxygen uh, could provide uh, the appropriate chemical energy for bacterial or microbial life. And if Europa has a salty ocean, uh, chemical reactions between water and the rocks on its floor uh, could create hydrogen hydrogen rich materials. And if there are areas where the ocean ocean interacts with hot rock, like uh, hydrothermal vents in Earth's ocean, the water could be pouring out chemical nutrients to power life. So basically in short, uh, to make things short, uh, Europa ha has a variety of uh, processes, of chemical processes, uh, chemical reactions that can work together to create uh, chemical energy that would be available to uh, power life processes of simple organisms like bacteria and, or microbes, basically. So, uh, well, in conclusion, um, Basically, elements and uh, water are most likely already present, or uh, the adequate elements, and obviously water, uh, liquid water. Um, so the only thing that remains is the um, how energy could be uh, created, or how energy could be uh, of use, of what type of energy could be of use for uh, potential life on Europa's ocean. However, the only the only way to really know uh, and to confirm is by obtaining solid evidence, which would require sending a mission to that moon. Uh, fortunately, uh, NASA has a mission coming up, coming up, coming up scheduled to launch in 2023. But um, even just in the meantime, uh, the chemistry backs the probability to find life out there. You know in that moon as well as other planets along the solar system. Or maybe not find life, but to make uh, those planets habitable, right? For us or potential new life. Um, so yeah, thank you.